Travelling Sisters Roadshow um, with uh, Sister Julianne Murphy. Before that, John Mellencamp talking about pink houses on 891 and around our state and in Broken Hill, 18 and a half degrees. With you. Well, if I tell you that uh, there are some Travelling Sisters, in fact, a Travelling Sisters Roadshow coming to a place near you, you may think that uh, it's about seeing gospel, but it's not. It's about more than that. Sister Julianne Murphy is one of the sisters who's with the Roadshow, travelling in a tour van. Sister Julianne, welcome. Thank you. I'm glad I don't, I'm not expecting to sing. That's good news. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? Yeah, well, this is a unique initiative. I'm working for the Mary McKillop Foundation that for over 15 years have been supporting small life-changing projects, making a difference in community, people in need, uh, you know, refugees, Indigenous people, disengaged youth, a whole wide, wide range of projects. But this year in particular, um, it's called the Travelling Sisters Roadshow Disaster Recovery Project, so travelling around Australia. Uh, looking for those affected by the recent disasters, floods, fires, as we all know, have affected us here in Australia and South Australia. So along with another sister, we've got this bright van, red, yellow and orange van, and we're raising awareness of our foundation and looking for people with uh, self-help projects that we can, we can help with. So you yeah. can give them money to help? We can. Well, obviously, we, we need to fundraise along with that. But we um, give grants to successful applicants of between $500 and $10,000 for projects to help those in need. And had the opportunity this year to speak to a number of schools and telling them about our roadshow and the foundation and how they can continue the legacy of Mary McKillop. If you're looking for help, no need to come. The Mary McKillop Foundation is open the school. The foundation is strong.
Can you 